first the thunder came. It rattled the house, and then the water came. When floods come in, they turn everything into muck. You can smell it. You know that there's raw sewage in it. We sat here, and the water came from all sides and met in the middle of our floor. I think I was in shock. I just looked at it and I couldn't believe it. Everything that's touching your floor is contaminated with it. You have to get the walls open as fast as possible. That nasty water breeds this black mold and it'll ruin your entire home. All of the furniture, everything's gotta come out. All of the clothing has to come out. We, we were just kind of sitting like, what are we gonna do now, you know? I mean, we, we can't do all this ourselves. You just can't sit and not go and help. The church I go to have this group called the Mormon Helping Hands. As soon as the hurricane hit, when the floodwaters receded, emails started going around saying, who's in? He just texted back, I'm in. And then the very next day they said, okay, we got work assignments, let's go. And we were off. A friend of mine gave me the number to call for help. Lo and behold, the next day they were here. Michael's group came. I mean, it was like bright and early. They were chipper and happy, and, you know, and they raised our morale. And it was like such a blessing. <laughs> it just like answers. Eddie and Sam were the first home we stopped at. We had about 15 to 18 people at our house. Michael has a lot of energy. He's a very good spirited person, so to just have him in the room is just a good atmosphere to have. Whatever they needed done, he was always right there at the forefront. It was awesome how he was also caring in those times because it's a very hard situation. A lot of the families we helped didn't want to let go. You had to tell them what was necessary and they would switch from protecting their material possessions to going, hey, my family's safe, my kids are safe. Eddie wanted to save as much as she could. It was the collection of stuff from an entire lifetime. We convinced her gently that it wasn't going to be salvageable. We needed to get everything out of the house. It just disrupts your whole life. We couldn't do it without him. Michael is very caring. He loves serving. Whatever anyone needs, he's, he's ready to help them. Once you help one person, it's not like you get in your car and you say, okay, I've helped the only person affected. The whole neighborhood's affected. And then you start taking days off of work <laughs> so you can go help other people. Anything feels more selfish than helping people get over their disaster. I don't know how to explain. It's just heartwarming how people have come together. Yep. <laughs> I'll agree. <laughs> it's just people coming together. Everybody helped. And I'm so grateful.